62 years on, Nigeria is still in the process of stabilizing its political terrain for a better governance. Political stakeholders say the nation is in dire need of an impactful political structure and electoral processes. Plus, TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokun in this special report takes a look at political and electoral outlook of the nation. Top-ranking Nigerians wearing their finest robes watched in dignified silence as the climax of Independence Day was reached. In handing over the documents to the Federal Prime Minister, al Haji Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa, Her Royal Highness handed over sovereignty to a new nation. Political environment in Nigeria has featured severe contestations among the country's diverse ethnic groups. The country's full set of political parties was formed in 1959 shortly before independence. In 2020, the nation's election umpire, Ainek, succeeded in reducing the political parties from 92 to 18. Currently, there are two major political parties, the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and its opposition, the People's Democratic Party, PDP. However, other parties like the Labour Party and others are beginning to make waves contending for recognition. Established parties have more seats in the National Assembly than smaller parties. The ruling party and the main opposition party do not have um, much of a stronghold or influence on the minds of people as they used to. They are, they are now alternative parties that people are considering voting for. The political tyrant today is said to be controlled by desperate politicians whose only goal is to prepare the ground for the nation's treasury and commonwealth. As the nation moves into another election year, there seems to be an awakening to change the tide in favour of the people through the ballot. We're seeing signs, uh, the signs of dramatic shifts in orientation, in public consciousness and in participation, particularly by groups that we are previously inactive. So we have seen people channel and transform previous grievances into opportunities for political participation. The major factor that I see and which makes me conclude that 2023 elections will be radically different from the previous ones is that there is an active participation of young Nigerians. Okay, uh, Not just in support of any candidate, but in the political discourse, in trying to set the agenda for the political, for the, especially the presidential candidates. Optimism on the part of citizens is attaining a dramatic increase as regards the forthcoming 2023 general elections. Uh, the politician needs to uh, let, it, uh, let the, um, the followers to know that um, it should be a kind of uh, issue-based um, campaign, that um, have they been able to better the life of people, the, the followers, have they been able to better the life of people? The promises they made, they never fulfilled it. The one that said, okay, employment to the other regime, they said they would bring employment, the um, cost of living will be, will be low, but then they are now there and then the cost of living has skyrocketed. Any president that is coming should know what is at stake now, should understand, not, not like game blaming. Do you understand? They should know what is on ground, there is inflation in the land. Are they, are they competent enough? Did he or she fail, is able to you know, drive us, sell us to the island we are going? The country has been arced by issues of insecurity to economic downturn, infrastructure deficits, dwindling health care and education system, among others. However, as the race to the 2020 repose odds up, Nigerians believe once the political terrain is stable, good and impactful, governance can begin. From the central government to the state and others, the choice of those to lead will depend on the electorate. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.